will no longer let, sit by and let them struggle. And I hope everyone understands the moment we have in front of us that we celebrate this together and we work to pass it as quickly as we can. Yes. Honourable member for Foothills. The price of groceries are rising at a 40-year high. And the Liberals are fueling food inflation with nonsensical fertilizer policy and tax hikes on farmers. Food security and affordability are critical issues for Canadians, and our farmers offer a solution, growing affordable and sustainable food. But instead, the Liberals are attacking our producers with nonsensical fertilizer policy and tax hikes on fuel. Grocery prices are up 10 per cent. Canadians are struggling to put food on the table. Why are the Liberals making the food affordability crisis even worse by hiking taxes on our farmers? Good question. <laughs> The Honourable Minister of Agriculture. I want to assure you that we are there to support our farmers. Last year, we have had the biggest budget of the history of the Agriculture Department, more than $4 billion. Recently, we have invested $1.5 billion in agri-environmental programming because our farmers know that the biggest threat to their production is climate change. The biggest threat to food security is droughts and floods and climate change. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Foothills. The biggest threat to Canadian farmers is this Liberal government and their devastating policies. The Minister is misleading Canadian farmers in this House and she knows it. For example, they said the carbon tax would be revenue neutral. They know it's not for Canadian farmers. In fact, Ontario Green Grower study showed they get less than 20 per cent of their carbon tax back by the Liberal rebate. Even their finance department knows it, saying the average farmer gets $800 back through the carbon tax rebate. $800. They spend tens of thousands of dollars a year on inputs. That is one day in a combine. One day. With the food affordability crisis where it is, will the Liberal Ag Minister defend Canadian farmers and oppose any new taxes on the Honourable Minister of Agriculture? Mr. Speaker, I'm here and we are here to support farmers days and night all year long. And we are investing in our farmers. We are investing in the ag sector. I'll just talk about the, uh, the clean technology program for one example, because we know that farmers need equipment, need new technologies to be more energy efficient, to be able to do precision agriculture, to fight against climate change, because this is the real threat to food security. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Peterborough Kawartha. 45-year-old Jake makes $30 an hour and has put in over 200 hours of overtime this year, but is still struggling to make ends meet for his family. This Liberal government is planning to triple the carbon tax tax on gas, heat, and everything else. It is the most expensive government in history, and the more they spend, the more things cost, and the more Canadians like Jake continue to hang on by a thread. Exactly. Will the Liberal government give Canadians like Jake a break and cancel their planned tax increases on Canadian paychecks? Oh,